I've been a little bit sick and my kids were sick so I'm kind of behind with posting videos but today I decided to make it up to you guys and instead of showing you more of my outfits let's uh, talk about something that I'm sure everyone can relate to uh, in terms of nutrition how many of us once we put the kids to sleep or if you don't have kids after dinner you sit there and you just chill and you feel like you want a snack on something um, I'm sure all of us are thinking about that summer body it's coming up summer so we need to be you know kind of uh, aware of what we are eating but uh, not only that a lot of the foods that we eat I mean I'm sure not no one thinks about that but it actually um, sets the tone for your sleep at night. So I decided to show you three late night snacks that I go for that has the aspect of contributing to a better sleep at night. Uh, the first one will be banana bites covered in dark chocolate. The second one will be um, a vanilla Greek yogurt bark with blueberries and the third one for if someone wants a little less sweet and more savory we'll go back to our old-fashioned and always a favorite in my house kale chips so let's get to it we're gonna start with cutting a banana um, you want to cut it into just you know kind of thick but not too thick uh, bites so banana is great for a late night snack because it is a natural source of melatonin which is the sleep hormone once you cut the bananas we're gonna take a tray that we can put in the freezer This is the consistency we want to get to. So we have our frozen bananas, we have our chocolate, and I lined a tray with um, parchment paper to put it in the freezer once the bananas are inside. So I recommend to use a small fork. It will be easier to dip them in the chocolate. freezer um, make sure you put it I would probably put it for also about an hour our next snack will be the Greek yogurt vanilla blueberry bark this one is super simple what you really need is a cup of blueberries put it in a mixing bowl and then just take your yogurt I'm using the Liberté Greek yogurt in vanilla flavor yogurt is a great late night snack because it, it contains tryptophan which promotes a better sleep at night and it has protein so you kind of you make sure that there's no muscle loss during the night or you know if you don't go to sleep and you feel hungry it's not necessarily a good thing especially if you want to have a kind of a healthy weight loss so all you really need to do is add the Greek yogurt to the bowl. And once you're done, you just line a tray with parchment paper and you just put kind of lumps of it on it because this will go to the freezer. I like to make like, you know, little bite sizes. This will be my serving. so. It will also make sure that you're not gonna overeat it because if you put a full bark you're kind of taking the risk of eating all of it without noticing right so making it into little servings will help with controlling the portions well, the yogurt bark is done 
you basically just need to put it in the freezer it will take approximately 90 minutes to freeze but obviously it varies depends how thick it is or how much liquid there is whatever it is so uh, just check and make sure that it's frozen completely we add our last snack and that is kale chips i'm sure you heard about it kale is a great green to consume a lot of calcium in it which is great because it helps the body use trifotin which we mentioned before is a great sleep aid <laughs> The most important thing when you make kale chips, after you wash them, you have to make sure they're super, super dry because otherwise they won't have that crunch that we're looking for and in chips. So please do whatever it takes to dry them as much as possible. Once it's dry, you wanna use scissors because it's the easiest way and cut them away from the stem. This is the bitter part, so you want to avoid it. Then you wanna get a bowl and kinda make it into chip sizes. Then I'll use about one tablespoon of olive oil. So you want to kind of toss it and make sure that it's all coated evenly. Especially have, if you have the curly kale. Those are sneaky little bastards. You want to make sure they're all coated with olive oil. You'll take a tray and put a person paper on it and you can start spreading in a single layer on the baking sheet. We we'll use some uh, just Himalayan sea salt, coarse sea salt and just sprinkle it. It's better to use Himalayan sea salt because it has a lot of minerals in it. So at least you're getting something from that sodium you're taking in. And now we're going to put it in. Place it inside for about 8 to 12 minutes. It depends. But you really have to check it closely uh, because they burn really fast. So check every few minutes just to make sure. You want it to be crispy um, and it will shrink a little bit. So once you see the texture is there, take it out and it's ready to eat. Kale chips are done. They look quite amazing. Look how little there's left, right? I'll probably have to make another batch because these will be out in like five minutes. Probably before the end of this video. We are done. We have our blueberry vanilla frozen yogurt bark. <laughs> I change the name of it every time. This is how they look. So just put this in Tupperware and um, close tightly and you can store it in the freezer. We have our kale chips, nice and crispy. And we have our banana bites. It's frozen, it has banana and chocolate. So you put this in a Ziploc and you can keep it in the freezer and there you go. So we're done with making these three late night snacks that are good for you, good for your body and really good for your sleep. So have a good night, enjoy these snacks, let me know what you think and if you'll dream about me at night, you know, it's fine. Don't worry about it. These are really good.